Hey there everyone, how's it going? It's been a minute or a week since I last uploaded, but consider this to a part two to my last Twitch stream time lapse video. Um, in the past Friday, we went back and revisited one of the pieces that I was working on, which is John Marston from Red Dead Redemption. If you haven't seen the previous time lapse, you can find it in the cards above and also in the links below. And initially, we had just taken this as a request to, and also I had been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption back through backwards compatibility via Xbox and also checking it out via the Xbox Xenia emulator and it's been fun. But uh, uh, Fridays now I've totally decided to dedicate Fridays to just chilling and doing art streams on my Twitch channel if you don't know already. I have a Twitch channel, it's Shara95. Um, Twitch.tv Shara95, I always forget to add that handle. but. Nevertheless, I've been making a lot of updates to my overlay and I've, I've been we've been just switching on some chill music taking requests And if you guys can see I've added like a spectralizer effect to my overlays And I've been really having a fun time figuring out how to set up OBS and this whole entire live stream set, set up And I've been really enjoying uh, Interacting with you guys. I'm not that far from making affiliate status for my gaming and everything like that I just need we're at 36 people right now of followers uh, Literally like uh, yesterday when I was actually live streaming some Halo, we had a ton of fun playing with my buddy and uh, interacting with you guys in the chat and just seeing karaoke. <laughs> but nevertheless, back to the art process. It's been a while since I've taken the time to walk you guys through the process of doing art and everything like that. So here, I've already gotten a majority of John Marston finished and one of the biggest things I can give, uh, give, I guess, advice for when it comes to art is just to take a break from the piece that you're working on. I took at least a good week away from uh, working on the this uh, this piece of John Marston and I and sometimes done as best especially if it's not paid work it's just for yourself for yourself to learn and everything so here I'm just darking in the values adding in some high, final highlights I really wanted to go for a really dark and brooding mood kind of thing but I didn't want to take the time to go into the fine details as I was saying on the stream was to basically like I don't know <laughs> to basically go into the bandolier individually color each of the bullets you want to work more efficiently and especially since this was in the paint piece I decided to you know this is for me I like John Marston I've always looked up to this character this tragic character and to the right from the last week you know I drew Inosuke from uh Inosuke Inosuke <laughs> that was a funny thing I could never pronounce the name of that character from Demon the anime Demon Slayer and it's one of my favorite animes uh shoujo animes uh right now not shoujo uh shonen jump animes I guess shonen style animes uh as of right now I'd probably go into more detail but here I am just adding more detail I am the fluff and rips of his jeans vest jacket and just doing my thing adding in the buttons adding the highlights and totally for forgotten to do the belt buckles but you can always just you know, sometimes I've like one of the many things I've learned is that not to fixate on the small details. Sometimes less is more, more is less, and vice versa. Just whatever you want to suggest a shape, and our brains fill in the rest. And uh, the cool thing is that I'm thinking about doing a much more of a detailed breakdown since uh, later this week, since Clip Studio Paint has a. Uh, a time lapse function now and if you're interested in seeing how I set up Clip Studio Paint or doing a a basic tutorial on how to draw or how to set up the program or how I how I paint in Photoshop or how I go about doing my illustrations definitely leave a comment below any comment any interaction with me at all I, I'm always fast to respond and just have a good time um, trying to get back into editing for this channel I've been very active lately with my other channels I've been uploading practically every single day on my gaming channel and also I've been busy working on a video editing tutorial for my my behind the scenes channel and also quarter one just ended so a lot of my my video editing products have just finished a lot of my clients and I've wrapped up a lot of clients so I'll be updating my showreel on my main channel so I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button hitting that notification bell if you haven't done so already and also checking out my other channels because this isn't the only place where I'm uh, active on um, and also, I'm very active on my social media pl media platforms. I'm on available on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and now especially on Twitch. Uh, you can find the links to all those and ways to support me and interact with me are in the description. I'm also working on trying to open a website so you guys can get access to my work and uh, all in a utilized single 
underutilized platform to interact and everything like that. I'm really, I never thought I'd be diving in headfirst into this uh, world of content creation. And I've always wanted to do it. I just never had the chance to do it. And I know it's been a rough year. We're hitting a one year, almost a one year anniversary with this lockdown and this pandemic going on and everything. And uh, it's been difficult uh, on us all. So I hope everything's turning around. I feel like I'm finally turning things around and doing things I'm passionate about once again and I have plans for this channel but I'll be doing that in an update video but back to what was being drawn ahead of, in front of us so right now I have uh, I took I I didn't at that point of the live stream uh, not a lot of people tuned in probably because I skipped the week before and I totally forgot it was daytime saving time so daytime saving time <laughs> I mean daylight savings uh, was kicked into uh, full, uh, front gear uh, front front gear <laughs> full gear so a lot of uh man i can't even talk <laughs> but a lot of people who would watch usually were already at bed in bed so i thought you know what this is just gonna be a chill live stream i'm just gonna do my thing and you know since i painted Inusuke last week i'm just gonna do a quick sketch of uh of tanjiro the titular main protagonist of demon slayer and i really enjoy this character a lot i love how he is just so different from the the overconfident protagonist he's just so interesting but i tried to instead of going like i like i tend to do with a lot of my arts arts is that i get a lot of anime requests anime and draw these anime characters in my style so i tend to go lean for a realistic stylized style uh i tend i really want to go for to learn to do more photorealistic stuff like i did with uh, my past pieces but this was tanjiro and i just wanted to do a really quick sketch so i went in and it's been a while since i've actually used uh Cliff Studio Paints uh, sketching brushes, and I have a dedicated brush pack that you guys can check out on my Gumroad. Links to that are in the description below if you want to buy it off of me. And now that Cliff Studio Paint is a compatible with Photoshop brushes, I need to update that pack so it's more organized for Cliff Studio Paint because you can totally use it for for a program. And also, I get a kickback. It helps me help help support my channel. Nevertheless, I'm just doing a really quick sketch. Just just basically. What you saw me earlier was basically taking my proportions, taking my primitives and forms and just trying to come up with uh, the basic composition. I kind of wanted to, uh, I couldn't, I don't feel like I did a good job of capturing Tanjiro's uh, boyish, uh, bright eyed nature, but still I feel like it's a wonderful, uh, it, it came out all right, A-OK, -okay. not sure if it, I would say 10 out of 10, but like I said, it was a quick sketch. I just wanted to relax. It, it was a long week. I had a lot of projects that I was working on for clients and uh, and that that stuff kind of does whittle you down and you don't want to sit in front of a computer but I've been really enjoying using my Huion Canvas 16 Pro uh, tablet and do a little dance because sometimes you get a little little um, a little fatigue you know I just sit, sitting there for a long while I think this was a two hour stream because I spent a lot of it just uh, trying to figure out why the audio wasn't coming through and uh, that's the unfortunate thing with having Windows 10 but I nonetheless I've been really enjoying just streaming and just showing my art off and so here I am back to the drawing before I go rambling again is that I have Tanjiro here just doing his thing just kind of want to go for a pose I was gonna draw Gyo which is the guy that like inspires him to become a demon slayer and then I was I I just felt too tired so I went to sleep afterwards right after finishing but I think I tried my best to capture what would like with anime and manga styles they tend to simplify and, and character character characterize I guess or just basically stylize their characters so much so sharp hair sharp spiky sharp hair he has long hair that's not flowing but it's long enough to be like pulled back but I couldn't really do a good job because one of my weak spots is not only hair I believe but it's also trying to figure out folds and clothings but not nonetheless I think I did a pretty all right job with his robe here uh, I'm actually I was quite impressed because I was trying to draw this all out of out of without a reference and all I had for for like without a photorealistic reference but all I had in front of me was uh, basically a picture of Tanjiro from the anime and I just took his key element which is his his, his plaid Howery or kimono style jacket it's not a kimono per se it's, they call it a Howery and then his uh, his uh, Nichiren sword uh it's not a katana it's a nitrine sword that they call in the anime uh, i i would call it eh, everything looks like a katana to me but uh, i don't want to be that bad and then of course getting his earrings in the scar on his forehead and then his hair 
I'll probably revisit the, this drawing now that I look at it, but definitely check me out on Instagram. Check me out on, uh, on Twitter. I'll be posting all the art that I do on there. I still need to catch up and do that. But nevertheless, that brings us to the end of this video. If you, It means a lot that you guys stuck to this point. Don't forget to hit that sur subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to check out all the other videos that I have. And I'll be coming out with a new video later this week. So till then, peace.